Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to interface or how to use our fire detector sensor with the transistor or any other electronic component. If you want to build our fire detector circuit with the help of simple components then we need one what's called as the flame sensor you can take it out like this and one more thing that you can use this sensor from the same file whose link is given in the description you can download the file and you can use it as it is okay you cannot import this in the other file so what you need to do is to download the same file if you want to attach it with any microcontroller then you can ex import uh, not import but search and uh, attach it with any other microcontroller but within this within this file okay not in any other file so so now this is our flame detector sensor you can see that there are four pins one is input one is uh, digital out ground and vcc so how it used to work you need to first we we have to do like uh, we have to give signal on the input okay and if if it if if there is signal on the input side then there must be signal on the output okay d0 but you have to give the ground and vcc as well if you will not give these one it is not going to work okay how we can do that okay now first we will go and we will take what's called as the uh, logic state logic state okay we can take both the logic state and logic probe okay so we will connect it with like this okay so you can connect the input logic state with input now we will connect our output logic probe because logic probe used to tell us about the output and logic state is used for to give the input okay we can take the bigger one logic probe yeah big big one this one okay so connect it with the d0 now we will connect ground pin with the ground and vcc with the 5 volt so go there and take your ground pin like this and 5 volt vcc pin with this like okay so okay now this is 5 okay now we will run it out okay why it is so because you also need to right click on it you can go to like uh, edit properties click on attach hierarchy module and like this okay now you can see that when when there is signal on the input when it is zero the output is zero and when it is one the output is one okay so okay now if you want to do it like uh, if you want to attach certain LED for indication or anything we can also attach it okay so so we will go for LED LED green can we yes can we okay now we can attach it with our D0 okay and also attach it with the ground Now you can see that when we used to apply or give signal on the input, we got our signal on the output. So hopefully you got the concept that how you can use this sensor and one more thing that 
In the next video, I will connect it with the Arduino and certain other microcontrollers like PIC and NetMega. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.